Hey guys, so today I'm finally going to be doing my testing new makeup video full face of first impressions. I do this because it's not a full face, sadly. I have so many new products that I've literally had for like two months that I haven't tested out. I had them like when they were new, but now they're not really new. But I still really want to do this video because I want to try out these products. The products that I don't have for actual first impressions, I'm going to be using products that I haven't used that many times, like I've only used like once or twice. Hopefully the lighting is so much better than my last makeup tutorial because my last one was so bad and I'm so sorry. I actually have natural light coming in and this, so I'm not gonna be afraid for it to be too bright because I was like, oh, is this too bright? Even though, no, it wasn't too bright, like it was too dark. So hopefully y'all like this new camera better, like now that I actually have a good lighting situation. The eyeshadow palettes that I've been wanting to try for so long that I've literally had for so long are these Wet n Wild Color Icon palettes, the new ones. I have not a basic peach and rosé in the air. I've been dying to swatch these, but I was like, no, I'm going to save it for the first impression. Let's see how this shade looks because I think I want to use this one. That one right there. It's like a lot more kind of like reddy pinky than I thought. A little bit of a duo chromey shade. The teal isn't that pigmented. Orange is super pigmented. Oh man, I just dug my nail into that. I really want to use that shade. Maybe do pink on the lower lash line. These are like pretty powdery. Like I had to kind of go back and forth a few times. Like I only dip in once but I have to go back and forth a few times just to kind of keep it not being too powdery. Just go ahead and prime the eyelids. And the concealer I'm going to be using today is the Maybelline Fit Me just because I did use it in my full face testing, my old favorites. But I haven't used it since, so I'm going to actually use it just as concealer today. No foundation. There actually is a matte cream shade in this palette so I'm gonna use that. I mean this is just a matte shade but it's like really pretty and really soft and set it really well. This is a really good cream shade. I think I'm gonna focus in on this palette for the upper lid. So I'm gonna first go in with this transition shade that I nicked but I feel like that's probably not gonna do too much. When I swatched it it was pretty close to my skin tone. I'm gonna go in with this peachy shade happening oh no i hope this lighting is still okay because my light kind of just uh died so i need to go charge it sorry if this lighting isn't as good right now but it honestly isn't that bad everything's blending out really well right now the roll of light was peachy color i feel like that would just be really pretty to just like put on. I'm gonna go in with this shade. Sorry if I'm looking over there, that's where my mirror is. Kind of makes me look like I'm looking at a monitor, like I'm actually professional. I'm gonna go in with that shade because I feel like it's just a little darker. I'm gonna do that on that outer corner. I feel like this is really similar to Top Notch from Colourpop. I'm gonna go with more of a fluffy brush. I'm gonna go back in with that peach and the orange and mix them together. And help that kind of like poke through the top. I really feel like a yellow would look super pretty poking up through the top. I'm going to go in with this deep shade and go in the outer corner with that. But I'm also going to mix in the shade so that it's not too dark at first. I actually have new lashes to test out today and I've had them for so long as well. I've had them since I had these palettes. That's the only downside to this palette is it is powdery, but I don't really care if shadows are powdery. I don't know really why people complain so much. Unless they're like super high-end shadows, then I don't see the big deal. Now I'm just going to blend everything together. I'm going to go back in with the peachy shade again and kind of blend the top. Now I'm gonna go in with this. It's kind of like rough in the pan, but then it's like super pigmented. So we're gonna see if we have to go in with any settings for it. But I don't think I am. I think I'm just gonna do a little bit of spray. The setting spray I have in here for my first impressions is the Essence Keep It Perfect Makeup Fixing Spray. I put it in the pan. And then spray my finger. And I feel like even just patting the setting spray on top of this would make it pop as well. Hopefully y'all can see how pretty that is. 
I'm gonna do my lashes right now just because if I mess up, I haven't used any other brand of lashes besides Shop Massage. Kiss Blowout Lash in Pixie. There's a lash glue in here. We try out Kiss Lash Glue too. Here's what the lashes look like. Look how pretty those are. The eyelashes are applied. It took a while. The actual application of the lashes didn't take that long. It's probably the easiest lashes that have been to apply. It's actually like fix. The outer corner just doesn't want to stay down. The glue is nothing like special, but like. It's not awful. I put Maybelline Master Precise Skinny in the tight line. Wet n Wild Skinny Tip Liner in the inner corner to kind of connect the lash band. I'm gonna do a little refresher with the Essence Keep It Perfect Makeup Fixing Spray. I know it doesn't say that. It's kind of like a single squirt. Kathleen said that it makes her super glowy. The primer, I'm gonna use Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy. I've kind of been using this a lot recently. But this is the newest primer I have. Concealer, as I said, I'm going to use Maybelline Fit Me, but I'm going to go in with Maybelline Thin Age Rewind on the inner corners, places I need a little correction. And then I'm going to put Maybelline Fit Me. I think I'm going to let this set, even though it does burn my under eyes a little bit. I'm still going to try and let this set so that I can see if it helps the coverage. I'm not highlighting, I'm just trying even my face out. I have two new powders. One is the Catrice Prime and Fine Mattifying Powder. That's what it looks like. Let's see. It's super smooth. The other one is the Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder in Ghost. I saw someone's video on this and they said it made their under eyes white, which I want. I talked about that a little in my drive with me. I'm not gonna press it in like I would normally. Maybe I'll do that one side, so I'll do this. Oh! <laughs> It's like super powdery. And I'm just gonna do this part of my face. I'm not gonna do my under eye. I feel like that kind of helped a little with my pores, but that could just be because it's actually mattifying it, so it just makes your pores better anyway. Yeah, this is mattifying a lot. This side, I'm gonna do it with like pressing it with a sponge. I haven't tried new powders in so long. Whoa. I feel like that smoothed out my pores really well. Ooh, my forehead. I think it's because like. It just mattifies it and that's why it makes it look so good, but like, it's like so smooth. I'm gonna go in and bake. I haven't baked in a while, like I pretty much just always set my powder in. I am gonna drag it down just so that it doesn't look weird. And I'm gonna quickly wipe that away because, ooh, there's a lot of powder down here. Because I don't want it to dry my under eyes out. I mean, it might not, but and I also don't want it to be too white. Okay, so it's definitely white. I could use this with foundations that are too dark with me too, probably, not just to brighten. It's kind of looking a little crazy, like it, you can see the line here, so I'm gonna go in with a little bit of that powder and just kind of blend the edges out. Now I'm gonna go with bronzer, and the bronzer that I'm using is Catrice Prime and Fine Professional Contouring Palette, and that's my highlighter too. And this one is in Ashy Radiance. It doesn't really look too pigmented, but I'm just gonna go ahead and tap it off just to be safe. So it's not too pigmented at first. I mean, it might not be pigmented. Here, let's swatch it and see. It's really not that pigmented. And then the highlighter isn't too pigmented either. It's kind of the highlighter where it doesn't really transfer on the skin. It's just like stays on your finger. But I'm just kind of blending it up because I really don't want a harsh line between everything, you know? I feel like there's like a line here and it was there yesterday. It's not because one of these powders because it was there yesterday. Maybe that's like just how my skin is right now because it's not over here. I'm just gonna clean this up. I'm not gonna leave it on here too long because I know it's gonna be crazy. For blush, I'm gonna go in with Wet n Wild Rose Champagne. I'm gonna tap in and tap off like a whole lot. And I've actually been liking this even though, you know, it is so shimmery, glowy blush. But it doesn't look as bad as I thought. It just gives like and if you're not like a highlighter fan, but you still want a little bit of a glow, just get an illuminating blush that you like. And then it just gives you a healthy glow. Wipe this off, because I don't want to bad in my line. It kind of puts a really distinct line. I'm going to go with the highlighter. Oh. 
that's pretty. I mean, it's not intense at all, but it's pretty. This isn't really a highlighter that I feel like I can put on my finger into my nose because it doesn't come off on my finger. It, you have to do it on a brush. It looks super pretty on the chin. There's like not too much shimmer in it. Like it's really just metallic. And I would have never thought that this would have been a good highlighter. <laughs> I feel like this makes my face look so glowy. Now back to the lower lash line. First shade I'm going to go in with is this one, and then that one, and then that one. Darken the outer corner with that one. It's kind of going to be a warm top and a cool tone bottom. As y'all know that I like to do, I'm going to drag the pink up. Oh, yeah, this is... This is pretty. I think I might want to do this like super gold shade on the inner corner. I feel like that would be super different. Ooh, that's so pretty because it's like a yellow gold. I feel like all of these colors just like smush together. Like they just go together. Oh, I'm like actually so proud of this look. Like I did something different for once in my life. I feel a little vain because I'm just like, wow. Well, Now I just have to figure out what lip I'm going to do, and that's a little difficult. So I'm going to go see. I kind of am feeling a bright pink. I don't have any new lip colors. I'm going to do a little bit of a close up first. This is the finished eye look. Yes, girl. Doesn't that just look so pretty this is probably my favorite look i've ever done which is saying something because it's all first impressions so it could have gone wrong i chose a super bright lip because i just feel like it would bring out this pink right here it's not really drawn toward the pink until i feel like you put a pink with it you know color pop matte x and pop in and it literally has no transfer really it's a lipstick i love this makeup so much so that was me testing new products i know they aren't like technically like actually new but they're new to me i have so many more products that i want to try out but they're like all out of stock so that's why i just wanted to go out and do this video i've been promising this for so long and i just feel like i just wanted to try out these products so that i could keep using them and use different products in my videos the face makeup looks so good i don't really have complaints about anything really I feel like everything sinks into my nose right there. What I realized was I didn't put any highlighter on my cupid's bow. And I kind of actually like it. Like I feel like my cupid's bow looks a lot more even. But yeah, everything I liked. Obviously going to try out more. These eyeshadows. These are probably going to be all I'm using. I love these. This shade is so pretty. All the shades on my eyes are pretty. I really like these lashes. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Please leave any video recommendations down below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! I really like the lash. I feel like it just looks tropical. Whatever, fine. Finally, I'm done filming after like 10 hours.